Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You and welcome to my kitchen. It's a scary day today. We are tackling liver. Look at this bad boy. This is liver. My dear friend Laura who watches this is gonna cringe and do not shut this episode off, Laura. You are gonna watch this and you're gonna like it. We're making liver and onions, and if liver doesn't have as much iron as you need, we're gonna be adding an untraditional thing to it. We're gonna add some, what's it called? Lacinato kale, I may have said it wrong. We'll just call it kale. It's a little easier to cut. It doesn't have as much ribbing, so you can keep the ribbing in there. And we're gonna add that in there to add an extra healthy punch to this. So let's get going on this amazing dish. Um, I haven't had it in forever. Oh gosh, my hands smell like liver. I'm not sure about this, guys. This is my mother's recipe. I'm making it without her, and I'm adding the kale just for extra. So stay tuned. We're gonna start first by putting some oil in our pan, and then we're gonna put our onions in. It's just about a tablespoon of oil, not too much. And we're gonna put in one and a half large onions. I hope that's not too hot, we'll see. Oh, we're all right there. We're not burning our onions. Then we're gonna add some salt. And to get these to brown nice, we're gonna put two tablespoons of butter in there too. What I'm realizing with organ meats is you use a lot of oil. It's probably to help with the flavor, the texture. So we are just gonna let these cook down. I have two of these steaks here. Guess we can call them steak, right? I'm gonna salt them lightly and then put some garlic powder on them. And then, we are gonna dredge it in flour. Get lots of flour on there. We're gonna do this with both steaks. I wanna make sure those spots are all filled in. Got flour on the whole thing. Okay, we're getting some brownie. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of minced garlic in there. This is swaying away from my mom's recipe. Oopsie. I'd love to add some mushrooms, but I don't have them. So at this point in your onions, you have to decide how you like your onions. I like mine really crisp and brown. Other people would want their liver and onions served with onions exactly like this. So you need to decide how you like your onions and how to proceed to the next step. I'm keeping mine in longer to brown and then we'll fry up our liver and put our onions back in with them and then let the flavors melt. But I'm gonna let this go just another couple minutes. I have decided to add my kale now Putting in our tail. We're gonna let that cook down with the onions. I'm turning it up because I don't want it to release its juices and then cook in its juices. I want them to evaporate. So I turned my heat up to high to let them release their juices into the environment instead of in my pan and then start my products here boiling. We do not want to boil. And my rice is done. We're serving this with rice. Oh, it's starting to look prettier. Okay, I'm going to take this off the heat and I'm going to take this out of the pan and then I'm going to put my liver back in. Okay, it's time to put our liver in. It's going to be delicious, guys. I promise. Okay, I put a little oil in the pan, but I know my mom would say, put more oil in that pan. That's how she talks. So I'm gonna put a little more oil in the pan. Oh, there's my dog. Sorry about that. And we're gonna get this in. Oh, 
Liver does not take long to cook. Just a couple minutes each side. I'm going to turn it up a little bit so it gives a sizzles a little more. All right. Flipping. Look how beautiful that looks. Oh, that's promising. Okay, I can put one of these other pieces in here. That looks pretty. This looks awful dry over there. I'm going to put a little oil. Now we're going to put our onions on top to have those continue to cook too. Now I do need to flip these two one more time. These small ones, so I'll leave those open. And then to serve it, I'll lift up these pieces and have them on top here. We're going to let the onions back down a little bit. Oh, wow, look at that. That looks beautiful. So to serve it, you know, have a little of the, the onion showing and the, that looks amazing. We're ready to eat. I turned it on low and put the lid on and we're just gonna let those smaller pieces cook and just let some of the flavors meld together. So we're gonna do this for probably five, maybe eight minutes, and then we're gonna eat. Okay, it's been about five minutes. Let's check on it. Wow, that's beautiful. The green really makes it look more appealing, for sure. Okay, we have our liver and onions and kale. Let's give it a try. Well, it tastes exactly how I remember it, like liver and onions. Um, it's not bad. Um, it, it actually is good, um, but I probably want it twice a year. You know, yeah, I don't know if I want to eat liver and onions all the time, but in liver and onions world, this is delicious. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks for You. I hope you enjoyed this organ meat um, episode and make some liver and onions for yourself and see if you like it.